someone says, uh, why do we have to teach the Gentiles? Why do we have to teach the Gentiles? Because it's commanded by God to do so. That's why. It's commanded by Christ to do so. Hold that and get Acts 15 and 14 and Amos 9 and 11. And along with that, get Isaiah 14 and 1. And also get the one that, when it says he shall be uh, a God, he, he shall like, for, for all people. Get that in Isaiah. That. House of prayer. Yeah, house of prayer, yeah. Uh, Let's Acts, read. Acts chapter 15, verse 14. Why do we need to teach the Gentiles? Now, mind you, okay, I'm a teacher. I'm commanded by God to do specifically what God in Christ commanded me to do. Okay, so what I do is not relegated to how someone, and I'm speaking to you in general, but anyone, how anyone feels about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stop or start doing something because someone suggests it. Suggests it, okay? When it comes to doing the word of God, it's clear what our duties are according to Christ's word. Okay? Let's first start with Christ. Mm -hmm. Matthew 28 and 19. St. Matthew chapter 28. So let's start with Yeshua, the Messiah. Matthew 28, verse number 19. Read. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Read it again. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Go ye therefore and teach all nations a direct answer to your question. I'm not one to look at that and say, well, that's talking about Israel that's scattered. Mm -hmm. No. Because I'm teaching all nations who's included. The Israelites that are scattered. That's right. <laughs> okay. Go ye therefore, read. Teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I must listen to Christ. Mm -hmm. That's why. Any other group or anybody out there teaching that you're not supposed to teach the nations, you're listening to doctrines of devils. Antichrist doctrine. Period. Period. Now, I had a sister call me a couple of weeks ago and say, you know, from the Florida area and say that there's some guys in the other groups are saying certain things about us that we promote uh, uh, interracial marriages and that and that white people are going to be saved and saying all these other things. And I'm like, listen, all we teach, all that we teach and the only thing they can talk to you about is white people. I'm like, first of all, we don't promote anything. I, I'm not no matchmaker here, but I'm not going to tell someone to divorce their husband or wife if they came into the truth together and were baptized together. When Christ, when Christ come back, Matthew 25 and 31, he'll divide the nations. I'm not promoting nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching everybody. So don't misrepresent. And, and, and these brothers be purposely lying and misrepresenting us. Okay, we're not we're not we're, we're not the gatekeepers for the kingdom of heaven. We're the teachers. So so we're not here to break up families. If two people get together, that that's their relationship. Okay, I don't have nothing to do with two people who came in that were married already. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't don't come to me with that stuff. Okay, and that's what's wrong. You got these people. Who spoke, who's being lord over most high's house, they're not just telling black people not to marry white people, they're telling you what to do in your black home. They ruling your house. Ain't no white man there, but yet but yet they're ruling you. Mm -hmm. So no, that's that was disingenuous and a lie. And another thing I said is, yes, white people can be saved. Common sense will tell you they can be saved. How can you teach a doctrine that's saying that we're going to rule over white people, but all white people are dead? We're ready to kill you people, man. That's right. They must be saved to totally serve, wrong. right? Star, man, the most mm. gonna kill. <laughs> right. It says, through their fall, salvation has come unto the Gentiles. Through thy fall, salvation is coming to the Gentiles. So they will be saved to serve. Mm -hmm. And who 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 going to teach them this? 
We will. Mm -hmm. So we don't care if other groups don't teach them. Okay, we'll teach them. Because why? Christ commanded it. Okay? That's why. Let's get Acts 15 and 14. Mm -hmm. And one quick note on that. Some people may say, well, like you mentioned earlier, with Matthew yeah. 28, teach all nations and just focusing, saying that, well, let's speak about the Israelites amongst the nations. Yeah. Well, if we only go and teach who we perceive to be Israelites according to outward appearance, we're going to miss those Israelites who may have mix, mixed amongst the nations and therefore just cannot be identified by phenotypes and colors and, and physical features. Exactly. So in a nutshell, we undo what we claim we were sent to do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You may be looking at a guy that may, be, may appear white to you, but his great-grandfather could, could, could be blacker than Sidney Poitier. How do you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not here taking swabs and blood at the door. <laughs> okay, for DNA. I'm teaching the gospel. I'll let these other guys do all that. I don't have the time for that crap. So that's another thing. Okay. And when it says, a matter of fact, give me that Septuagint again real quick over there, other lawyer. Mm -hmm. Let me clear something up before we pray out. I'm going to clear this up because I'm glad the sister asked me a question because uh, I said I would answer it on our Sabbath and answer it. Um, before you get the book of Obadiah in the Septuagint, why am I going to, into the Septuagint? Because the Septuagint, brothers and sisters, was the Greek translation out of the original Hebrew, and the, Septu the Septuagint uh, Torah in Tanakh is an actual older translation than what we have in our King James Version Bible, and they work flawlessly together. So if you're going to edify the Old Testament, you would need both records to work together, right? Now, what they're teaching is that all you white people are, are going to be killed. In these groups. And I'm going to show you what scriptures they're using for that. Let's get to the book of Obadiah, right? And get where it says, There's, there shall not be none remaining of, of the house of Esau. Uh, the book of Obadiah 118. Read. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. Read. And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall be none remaining of the house of Esau. And there shall no, be none remaining of the house of Esau, right? There shall be none remaining of the house of Esau. So you have Israelites teaching that this means all white people are going to be killed. Some Israelites. When that scripture is not saying that. L read the next verse. Mm -hmm. Verse 18 or verse 19. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau. So they of the south shall possess territory, right? Mm -hmm. Now hold that and let's go to the Septuagint, Elder Lawyer, mm -hmm. and read the same chapter and verse in the mm -hmm. Septuagint. There's more here. Read. Verse 19 in the KJV. And they of the plain of the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And, and, and Benjamin shall possess the lands Esau used to rule. Now, let's read that same verse in the book of Obadiah and the Septuagint. Read it. Obadiah 118. And the house of Jacob shall be fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau shall be for stubble. And Israel shall flame forth against them and shall devour them. And there shall not be a cornfield left to the house of Esau. There shall not be a cornfield left to, to who? The house of Esau. It's saying that the Most High is going to take all the lands they have colonized away from them. So when it says there shall not be none remaining of the house of Esau, it wasn't speaking about people. It was speaking about property. Because why? If there's none remaining of Esau, then w what of the prophecy given to our mother, Rebecca, that the elder shall serve the younger? Mm -hmm. Esau haven't served Jacob yet, so he must be saved to serve Jacob. <laughs> okay? I love rightly the writing the word of truth. So we're teaching the Gentiles because Christ said so. 
And we're also at the same time destroying the false doctrine out there where you have people who've developed a doctrine strictly off of their hatred for white people. We, we're doing the gospel of Christ. Okay. And focusing on white people is not the all to end all. Okay. At all. It has nothing to do with the doctrine. Okay. We need to get our people together. And if the other nations want to come in, they can get, be, get the, they, guess what? They can be taught too and get themselves together. 